and gentlemen, please welcome my friend, Mary McCarthy. Hi, everyone. Um, you and I actually went through your mom's exhibition at a gallery, yeah. and I picked out one of her photographs yeah. of the cherries, Yes. and you were in somewhere in the Caribbean. Yeah, and we were eating maraschino cherries. We'd put them all out on the wall, but mum just saw the light was hitting it in the right way, and it's like such a beautiful print. It's like a fabulous art print now, so. So I wake up yeah. and go to sleep to that. It's right next yeah. to my bed. And I just feel your family's beautiful energy. And now everybody's talking about the documentary that just came out, this eight hour odyssey. What is your perspective um, on all of it? You know what, I'm just so, first of all, I'm so proud, but I went to the London premiere with dad. It really meant a lot to him because all of the rumors were that they were fighting around that time. And actually it shows their collaboration, them creating, and it shows, you know, that they were friends and having a laugh. And my mum's in it a lot, so I get to see her and you know it's great. And it was for the my food, my food inspiration. And your mom is your food inspiration. Yeah, she is my food inspiration. And you guys have Meatless Mondays in yeah. the UK. We do Meat Free Monday, and I grew up with mum. The the kitchen was the heart of the home. I read so a story about your it. parents like came to you when they decided to be yeah. vegetarians, right? Yeah. And what did they say? Mum just said, look, I don't want to cook meat at home anymore. It's your choice. But then the great thing as a family, because we were all vegetarian, I grew up talking about food. Like, you have that gap on your plate. So I grew up discussing the gap on the plate. So we'd come up with ideas. So you never feel like you're missing out on anything. No. So that's how the show came about. I like to cook hearty, nice, sat really satisfying. Like, you say healthy, but I love fried food. And I Me love, too. like, junk. You could fry so a shoe I, and all that. I try. I've so had... I try to make it as healthy but satisfying. Well, I just want have... to do my mum proud, spread the word, and not be judgmental. If you want ideas for things, that's what I'm here for, but you know, I'm not gonna preach to you. Okay, so I'm really excited to try these cookies. Teach me how to make okay. them because they have an orange component and yes. I love oranges. Yes, my favorite combination is chocolate orange. Okay. So these are very chocolatey orange cookies and it's super easy, let's go. So we have two types of sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, half a, which I think would light brown sugar, demerara sugar. Um, we call this demerara sugar, I think at home. We I'm have like... slightly different things. The darker one is coconut um, sugar, which adds a really nice caramelly flavor. So I whisk it together. You can use white sugar if you don't have any of these sugars. It's really not. With that, get, now this is coconut oil. This is an odorless one, so it doesn't taste too coconutty. For a little bit of extra flavor, one tablespoon of vanilla. Mm-hmm. And then we're gonna cup and a half of all-purpose flour and one teaspoon of baking powder just to give it a little lift. And now we're gonna chuck in the juice of one orange. And the zest. And the zest of one orange. Yes, This is I'm what messy. makes it very orangey. Where did you learn this recipe, Mary? I kind of made it up. I was thinking, what are my favorite combinations? Right, I'm just gonna use I my like hands. I like chocolate and coffee too. Get your hands in there to bring it together at the end. Okay, so tell me about these scoops. I hear you love them. It has changed my life, whether it's a cookie or some type of meatball or whatever it is that or you are trying. Ball. Or a veggie ball. I know I felt gross saying meat <laughs> around you, but then you said no judgment. So show me, you just chuck it in here. I never, I've never used one of these. What it does is the evenness yeah. is so important for the cook as far as it all cooking the same and that sort of so balance. Look, usually when I do cookies for people, they're like, especially with the kids, you're like, which one do you want? And they all look to see which has the most, most chocolate, chocolate in. <laughs> so my plan was to get two pieces of chocolate, equal amounts, and just push it into That's smart. each cookie. And then you kind of flatten the cookie down at the same time. That's really smart. And then we have no arguments over who gets the most chocolate because it's all fair and even. Nice and easy, Done. right? Okay, so Yay. we would put this in the oven at what temp and time, Mary? 350 for 10 minutes. Mm. Yummy. Uh -huh. Cheers, babe. Oh, hang on, I have to tell you, I'm doing a new book, Feeding Creativity, where because I hate doing food photography. I was like, I'll cook something and take it to a creative person I like and take pictures of them. So you're going in the book. Mary takes the most beautiful pictures. Be my She's mess. been in galleries and museums all up. over the world. Hold them up.
One more, one more. Last one. That's the one. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you have come on the show. Please come back. Let's yeah. do so many things. Yeah. I'll Please. bring I'll bring a truckload of food next time. Let's do it. Thank you. Be sure to check out Mary McCartney's Search It Up streaming now on Discovery Plus.